안녕하세요. 하나, 둘, 셋. Guten Tag. Hello. Nice to meet you. Here is Jay Kim and here is... Don't tell my name. <laughs> She is Shubha Tiger. Hello. No, my name is Ida. Yeah. So, actually we met... Um, last week. Yeah, last week. And we talked about some topic, but I didn't check the camera work. It was broken. Yeah, because of the sound. So, this is the second time we take the same video. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Tut me light. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Today we talked about refugees. Yeah, very serious topic. I wanted to talk with German person because Germany had accepted a lot of refugees. So I was curious why and her opinion. So I invite her. So here we go. Are you excited? No. <laughs> <laughs> so who are you? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> hey, I'm Ida. I'm from Germany. I come from Berlin. Oh. It's the capital of Germany. And now I study in Korea for one year. Yeah, so you're from Germany. I'm curious, what is famous in Germany? Okay, Germany has really mm. nice bread. Come oh. to Germany and bre eat bread. Yeah, bread. And German bread and potatoes. <laughs> and fruits and vegetables. In Berlin, Döner is really famous. So yummy! I miss Döner! It's really good! You have to eat it! Oh. Eat Döner in Berlin! Okay. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the main questions. Germany has accepted a lot of refugees. So what is the reason, do you mm. think? I think it's because of history. Mm. Because Germany has a really bad and sad history. German people have a lot of pressure and guilt. So they want to make it better mm. in the future. They try to have a more open, equal country for all people. So mm. I think that's why they accept it a lot. I want to ask, what do you think? Do you think Europe should accept refugees? Yes. <laughs> why? I think not only Europe, also America. Because mm. America played a big role in creating a war in other countries. So I think they also should accept more refugees work harder together to make peace there but also to help the refugees to get a new life or a temporary life in other countries mm -hmm. so you mean they have responsibility to yeah. take them nowadays even in germany many people are really negative at accepting refugees so how do you think about that? because they're afraid refugees will take away their jobs or something mm. but actually for refugees it's really hard to get jobs in other countries because there's a lot That's of paperwork true. to get through and i think we should be more human and because we are all human and we should think more above the borders and not like yes my country don't let everybody in i think you mm. should more think it's a human being who ran away from a really terrible uh, war and mm. we should help them to create a new life together and help them to get over it what happened to them because they're all traumatized so I think people should more help and not be so against it but I think a lot of it is because of education because people don't know about um, their different religion or the different lifestyle so really afraid of it and are afraid it uh, will change something in their own lives mm. and I think if you educate the people that it won't happen that it's just if all people live together despite culture or religious differences, mm. I think then it would be more easy. But I think, yeah, it's really about the education of people. I think it's really bad because the media often shows just like the dramatic bad stuff mm -hmm. and because of this, this happens, but not like more educational stuff, <laughs> I don't know. Mm. Because in the news, they're always like, there was a crime and it's because he's Muslim or something, but it's not true. It's because he's a bad person, not because he's Muslim. Not because of Muslim. Yeah, it's like, also in Germany there, all the countries, Christians are also mm. really bad people. Right. <laughs> like not yeah, what do you think of the crime? Because many people who think about negative at refugees, they talk about the crimes, refugee crimes. So, how do you think about that? I think there's crime in every country, despite mm. what religion this person has or where he comes from. It's every people person, every yeah, person right. can do crimes, and mm. just because the media pushes up if it's a refugee, like mm. yeah, because he's a refugee, I think mm. that's why it seems more, but it's actually not more mm. than other crimes. I agree that it's just crime. It's not because of they are Muslim or they are yeah. refugees. It's not the reason. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we can look in America. There are so many white yeah, Christian right, crimes right. happening. <laughs> that's true. I think we should step away from pointing fingers at other religions mm. or cultures. No. Many European countries have banned Muslim languages. Mm. Can religions can be a reason that they banned people? I think because they don't know much about religion and mm. instead of 
educate people in the country, they just ban it. So mm. would educate the people in one country that this religion is not dangerous, mm. it's just new, and if mm. we work together, it will be just fine, we can all live together. Mm. But we don't do that, we just talk about in other countries, this religion created a war. So it will create a war in this country too. I think that's really dangerous. And also banning people because of religion is really dangerous. Mm because that creates more hate and I think we shouldn't mm. do that. Yeah, right, right. Some people say that if the refugees come to the country, people think refugees have to change their customs or culture because they come to their country. But how do you think about that? I don't think they have to change much. I think they should learn about the new culture, the country mm. they're living in, like understand the new culture they're living in. Mm. But they shouldn't give, have to give up their own culture mm. or religion. Mm. They should just accept the new rules or laws that the mm. new country mm. they're living in has. Yeah, I, th I think so too. They have to follow the law, but I don't think they have to change their like customs, culture, because in one country they can live together without different cultures, and that's better. Like, yeah. different culture people are in one place, then there are so many like new ideas, creative yeah. things and happen. I think still they should learn about the new culture, because maybe they really can like and accept it and mm. live together with two cultures but not like they have to get forced to live it or it's about to how they accept it like mm. if they accept positively it's working but mm. if they don't accept anything like culture anything people then it's not work anything mm. i mean it's not gonna work, work, work anything no, yeah. it's not, it's not gonna uh, work it's just english not, it's just not gonna work <laughs> I'm so impressed that German did bad things at the past time, but they admit that and they regret and have responsibility. Mm. They have changed and now they helped people with humanism. I think it's really impressive. Uh, they learn from the history. Yeah, I think it's really important that countries learn from their history. Mm. All and people learn from the history. I think it's really sad to see in a lot of countries that they don't talk about history and are really silent about sad and bad history mm. because if you right. walk through it and talk about it every generation it mm. will become a better people of all people if you just talk yeah, right, right, about right. bad and sad they history. They don't need to hide their sad and bad history. Yeah. They have to talk and discuss and learn from yeah, that. and learn from that. But I think a lot of countries don't do that. Yeah, right, right. Many countries Please. just hide. <laughs> Try it for yourself to learn more <laughs> about your country. <laughs> yeah, right. That's important. I think in Germany, because for example, I learned about Second World War and about mm, Hitler like yeah. every year. Holocaust. You know, Holocaust. Yeah, yeah, every year, and we visit a lot of mm. sad places yeah. and talked about it, and it was really like sad and bad and. I, felt like I couldn't be proud of Germany mm. but to learn from it and now Germany is trying to make it better that makes me proud again mm. and I think that is really important I think yeah, you right. can't be proud of your country if the country did bad stuff but can't talk about it mm. I think that is so sad in every country there's sad and bad history mm. in every country there's a dictator or someone like in nearly every country there's really bad people and if you talk about it, you can learn from it and make it better in the future. But if you don't talk about it, then it can happen again because people didn't learn about it from it. So please, <coughs> try to learn. <laughs> yeah, try to learn. Educate your book. Oh, educate it. Yeah. But I mean, in not in all parts of Germany. There's still bad people in Germany. <laughs> it's really sad. There are bad people everywhere, yeah. so be careful. Mm. Okay. <laughs> that in Germany, yeah. there are still a lot of bad people and there are like demonstrations against mm. uh, accepting more refugees. Yeah, right. And there are still a lot of Nazis. No, neo-Nazis. Yeah, neo-Nazis. Not a lot, but mm -hmm. there are quite few. And I think it also depends where you grow up. And I grew up in liber a really <laughs> liberal family, <laughs> and yeah. I don't know, but in my opinion, we shouldn't think about borders, we should just think about humanity and just mm. love each other and oh. like each other. But I think it depends on the person, and mm. I don't think in an e economic way. Mm. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think about the money we spend on refugees and stuff, and they should spend less on weapons and war and more on helping other people. That's oh. my opinion, but yeah, yeah. I'm not a politician, I'm not an <laughs> yeah. economist, so I don't know much yeah. about it. Yeah, everyone can have their opinion. Just love each other. Yeah. 
So we talked about Germany and why they accept refugees and how does she think about that. So it was really impressed and yeah, I hope many people think like her, like with more love, and understand. Thank you to Ida because it was really serious topic and sensitive topic. So thank you so much and yeah, hope you be safe and be careful. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Tschüss, tschüss. 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 Thank you. <laughs>